Today's breakthrough comes on the same day as the meltdown at airports all across the country. Well, many people think there's a connection. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live at LAX to continue our team coverage. Dave. Well, some of the people we talked to says it was not a coincidence. The, uh, the slowdown by the air traffic controllers uh, was a, uh, a real wake-up call in the White House. There were a lot of strategic meetings during the week. They were being told what could happen if this day occurred. Now, one of the real fears that they had when everything was going uh, haywire back in uh, LaGuardia, when all those flights were being canceled and delayed for as long as they were, they thought there would be a trickle-down effect here at LAX because, after all, a number of flights leave United Airlines here to LaGuardia. That did not happen. It's quiet time now, but everyone here is breathing a sigh of relief because things could have really been messy. Was it this site? As some sources are suggesting, airplanes stacked up at LaGuardia in New York, delayed by as long as 86 minutes. Some flights canceled altogether. That forced the hand of President Trump today? Well, absolutely. Things were just building up too much for the, uh, the president. The number one thing he still has on his side is an economy, and he was beginning to negatively impact it. Fernando Guerra, political expert who teaches at Loyola Marymount University. He was beginning to lose support little by little, and not only that, the most important thing is that there could have been an accident, a crisis, and it would have all been blamed on him. At LaGuardia and other airports back east in Philadelphia, Atlanta, and Orlando, air traffic controllers called in sick by the dozens, causing safety concerns and thus the reason for all the delays. United, which has frequent flights to and from New York out of LAX, had no delays or cancellations. Flight 6912 is now boarding. And there was a full contingent of TSA agents at LAX, despite the fact that tomorrow would be their second missed paycheck. We've been very, very blessed here. You know, I have an extremely strong leadership team, uh, keeps our officers very focused. And showing up for work. Same with the air traffic controllers. But the national president of the air traffic controllers union, Paul Rinaldi, sounded the warning bell a few days ago, saying that his members are completely exhausted and stressed out over what was happening with the shutdown. And this from the flight attendants union. This is exactly what the aviation unions have been warning would happen. Do we have your attention now, Leader McConnell? This shutdown must end immediately. And reaction at LAX when President Trump announced the shutdown was over. For now. It does matter. If he could get the rest of his life together, it would matter more. Still cautious about the future. So in three weeks, does this happen all over again? He's really painted himself into a corner where he has very little room to maneuver, and he cannot do this again. So he does not win on this at all? Oh, no. He's lost, and he's, I mean, I'm sure he got tired of winning at one point. He's going to get tired of losing. So at the two control towers here at LAX, that's one of them right there. It is back to normal. Of course, it was never not normal, except for the fact that the men and women were not being paid. So how close did the trickle-down effect come here? We'll never know. We do know that at least for the next three weeks, they're on the job, they're getting paid. And then, reporting live from LAX, I'm Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.